Jose Mourinho demanded, uh, I will quote here, a new dynamic, and there were hints of that throughout their win against Maccabi Tel Aviv, although, I mean, just in the win against a feeble opponent, you can't get too conclusive in your thoughts on whether Chelsea are back. But a 4-0 win against Maccabi Tel Aviv definitely shows signs that when it comes to the Champions League, it don't mean shit what happens in the Premier League. I talked about this with Juventus in the last clip yesterday against their win against their win against sorry against Manchester City. So 4-0 for Chelsea goals from Willian, Oscar, a phenomenal strike from Diego Costa on the volley, and Cesc Fabregas finally getting that monkey off his back that he's scoring. I know there was many memes around there. We'll throw them up here about Fabregas's first few stats in the Premier League: zero goals, zero assists, zero minutes, blah blah blah. But Cesc Fabregas got on the score sheet today. Now I will reiterate that point. Maccabi Tel Aviv were no means a hard opponent to beat. And Chelsea definitely dominated the game, but this isn't going to be the same stature of opponent they will play in the upcoming weeks in the Premier League. And I think that it is a good lift for them to win 4-0, specifically in the Champions League. As we know, it can often be a banana peel for many teams. Man City dominating in the Premier League and they lose to Juventus. So talking about Chelsea's style, I just felt like they were sharper on the ball, felt like they closed down Maccabi Tel Aviv and did not give them any ounce of space, which is what Chelsea did last season. They were very structured in their movement from side to side, moved as a unit this season. There's been a lot of gaps early in the Premier League. They tightened that up. Diego Costa scoring as well is going to boost his confidence going into the next week's Premier League game. But I think that Chelsea overall just needed a win. It doesn't matter how pretty it was. 4-0 obviously speaks volumes for a dominant performance. But I don't think they had to go out and win 4-0 for everyone to kind of take back and take, and take a breath and realise that Chelsea, OK, it's the Champions League. This could maybe reroute their season after that poor start. And going to the other team in London, Arsenal. 2-1 loss. And the thing is, Giroud, although he's not considered the most, I would say, consistent players, he has got this aspect to him that people dislike. I think our own general manager in here calls him the douche. Gerard, uh, Giroud the douche. And he's been sent off against a lesser opponent that in no means Arsenal should have lost this game against Dynamo Zagreb. And to lose 2-1 against this team after starting so promising is just an absolute dagger to Arsene Wenger and his team because now they're just going to open themselves up to the criticism again. That Arsenal, the same old team in the Champions League, losing to Monaco last season, losing to lesser opponents, is just not good enough. And Giroud to be sent off in this game so early, it just made this task even harder against a very hostile Zagreb team in a, uh, in a hub, I would call it, their home field in which they, they don't have the, the biggest fans in the world, but it just seems like a very hostile environment to play in, specifically against those Zagreb fans who were, when Arsenal were on the ball, letting them, letting them know that they weren't at home here. And uh, Arsenal's style of play, I think, just wasn't the same. And this is what I've seen in the Premier League. For all that talent, I just don't think that Arsene Wenger has, I would say, utilised their, their speed as much as they had to. I don't think that they, specifically against Stoke, I like the fact that they played Walcott solely up top. And to play Giroud in there and be sent off kind of just shows that when Arsene Wenger tries to tinker with it too much, it won't work. Stick to what you've seen against a team like Stoke, who are a hard team to beat. And to lose a player like Giroud so early on just sets you a foot back. And I, and I do feel sorry for Arsenal fans because this is going to be already opening them up to an enormous amount of criticism in the Champions League. And you have to think to yourself, is this going to be the story of their season again? But the main point I want to ask you guys is do you think that league form means anything in the Champions League? Because the last few days have showed that it basically doesn't. When it comes to the Champions League, it's a different kettle of fish. I know Chelsea didn't have a hard opponent, but a 4-0 victory is a hell of a lot better than a 2-1 loss uh, as Manchester City against a harder opponent faced an Arsenal against a harder opponent and Manchester United seems like 2-1 is the score to go to. But I want to know from you guys whether you think that is the case when it comes to the Champions League. Does league form really mean anything or does it, does it come down to just your performance on that day in the Champions League? Let me know in your comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at Francis underscore Maxwell and as always subscribe to TYT Sports.